officers in the Missouri Militia, and I am the Community Preparedness um, Chairman for the Oath Keepers of Greater St. Louis. So thank you for coming out this morning. This is, uh, we host this uh, clinic annually, and what this clinic really is, is a basic uh, preparedness clinic on what we feel is some of the, the key important factors if there was any type of disaster or an emergency that uh, we feel you, your family, and your community should be looking to contribute to make sure that you are prepared. So a little background is Oath Keepers and Militia started doing training together uh, several years ago because we felt a lot of our ideals were aligned with uh, what was going on in our country, what's been taking place in society, um, and <coughs> some of the key factors that the Oath Keepers bring up with, uh, does everybody know what the Oath Keepers are? We'll step back a little bit. Okay, so Oath Keepers were established by a gentleman by the name of Stuart Rhodes. He started the Oath Keepers to ensure that um, men and women who have taken the oath, such as our military, our police officers, our emergency response, are, are uh, holding to that oath, which is to serve and protect the Constitution, not the orders given to them by what is an elected authority um, or given instructions that are deemed unconstitutional, such as disarming the American public, which is against our constitutional right. So this organization was developed to ensure that the members of Oath Keepers are to ensure that these people who have taken their oath, our military, our police officers, our emergency response team, are upholding to their oath and not infringing on the American people's rights. The Missouri Militia has been around since the adoption of the state of Missouri. It's actually in our statutes that you are the militia, no different than our uh, United States Constitution. The militia and the Oath Keepers have been joining together uh, to ensure that our training is aligned to have one single purpose, and that is to withhold our Constitution and make sure that we are following it to the guideline and nobody of authority um, or appointed authority is abusing the power that has been bestowed upon them. So jumping back to what we feel is our key factors, we're going to go through who our host speakers are and what we think is some of the key things that we want um, ourselves, our families, and our communities to be prepared on. So let me jump out of here and kind of walk through what our agenda looks like today. So again, this is our Family Preparedness Seminar. There's a lot of things that we could go in depth on, but we're going to kind of touch briefly on three key factors that we think are the most valuable that you could have in a disaster situation, in a grid down situation, or um, just in, in general. I mean, it's always a good idea to have some of these extra things on hand. So we'll do um, some introductions on the host speakers. Again, my name's Michael Herf, and I've been doing this now for about four years with both, both organizations, and uh, this is really what I do in my spare time. Is you know, I, We all work for a living, but when I have free time, this is what I spend my time doing, is understanding and researching how, better, how to better myself, how to better my, my fellow officers, how to better my fellow organizations, and my community. Um, Dr. Dwayne Weed, he's a former president of our Oath Keepers chapter here in Greater St. Louis, uh, this gentleman right here. Um, he's also an officer in our Missouri Militia as well. He's going to be covering some medical training, so we'll go through what the agenda looks like here. Um, Kevin Pavel, which is sitting over here, he's also an officer um, in our Missouri Militia, and he is an active Oath Keeper member with us. Uh, he's going to be going through some basic food uh, preservation information with us today. Um, John Bear, he will be right back. He had to run and grab some tools, but this is all his fun equipment over here. He's our comms chairman for the Oath Keepers of Greater St. Louis. Uh, he's extremely experienced with ham radio communications, and he has done an excellent job getting us all up to speed on how to communicate with each other without the use of cell phones, without the use of the internet, all using radio frequencies, which he's elevated us up to a level to communicate with each other. Um, all using ham radio. So he'll get into some of the basics of doing that. And then Michael Hamilton, um, he's in the back here. He is the vice president of Oath Keepers of um, 
St. Louis, and he is also our senior officer in the Missouri Militia. Uh, so our agenda today, obviously introductions, and we are go through, Dr. Weed's going to go through medical combat lifesaver training, which he's actually hosted for us. Are you on your third round now? We just finished the second round. Second round. So we'll be starting our third round, and this is, um, he, he was trained, we actually went to another seminar that uh, I participated in at another organization. Um, he's compiled the information, now he's training all of our members on combat lifesaver, and then basic grid down nutritional information. Um, Again, food preparedness is going to be done by Kevin this morning, basic ham radio, and then any closing remarks and questions. So before I turn it over to Dr. Wee, does anybody have any questions for me about the organization? Anything that I can uh, provide information for you? None? All right, you guys are easy. Uh, all right, uh, on that, let uh, Dr. Wee take over, and we'll get him set up.